Hello and welcome to the heat loss heat gain calculation request guide. And you'll notice that there are three parts to this form. There's the project information, mostly the location and the contractors that are involved. Building information, mostly to do with R values and window specifications. And then lastly the contact information for us to follow up with you later. So with a, a heat loss, there are a couple kinds of heat losses. There's the building envelope, which is used generally to size the heating and cooling equipment. But if you need to know more specifics in terms of each room's heat, heating load or cooling load, you can do a room by room as well. You'll notice that there's a red asterisk here, which shows that it's a mandatory question, uh, which would be his address, so we would need to know that. Um, and the house model, you notice, doesn't have a red asterisk, so you can skip over this question um, if you don't know it. Now, in the case of uh, heat losses, oftentimes it can be a retrofit. So we do have a guide here just to show you what measurements we do need to construct an accurate heat loss. So if it is a hand-drawn uh, layout, uh, just to show which measurements we do need. In the case of a new build, um, or if you have uh, digital drawings, you can attach them here, preferably in PDF format. And if you have quite a number of them, I would recommend uh, merging them just so that you can do this all at once. Now it's not very common, but for this example I've also uh, shown an additional address. So this is another site that would use uh, the same specifications as, as the other sites. So same R values, same windows, um, so that we can do more than one of these heat loss calculations with the simple, with the single request. And you can attach the layouts that correspond to that address here as well. So here we have the house builder information as well as the HVAC contractor. So secondly we move to the building information tab, the second part of our form. And you'll notice that there are a lot of um, options for unknown in the case that you're not sure at this point what you're using, uh, but this will help us to have a more accurate heat loss by filling these in. So this is a natural gas forced air system. Uh, the front door direction, this is how you would face as you leave the front door. Your window type would be, um, say, low E argon. And for the solar heat gain coefficient, um, if you know it, you can type it in here, otherwise you can simply press unknown. Now you'll notice on the right there's an orange box that comes up showing further descriptions of what, what, what each of these options mean. Um, if, you've, if you've tested for leakage for your house, you can input the values here, which would help us be more accurate as well. And if your layouts already include your R values, you can simply check that they're included here, otherwise you can input them manually. So lastly is our contact information. This is for us to follow up with you and who we would send an invoice to. And also if you wanted to speak with us about this request, um, you can uh, add a contact name in here. Uh, this can be yourself or even someone else. Say for example an architect that uh, is, is submitting this on behalf of someone. And this, um, when do you need this by, is just to give us a sense of it, will it be next week or do you know it will be two weeks or that kind of thing, just to give us a sense for our own planning. And how would you like to receive the heat loss, heat gain? Uh, most oftentimes it's email. You'll notice there's multiple email boxes that we have here in the case that you have different people working on the same project. But if it's going to the same as the billing address, you can simply leave this blank. The purchase order is just for your own internal reference if it's referencing your own purchase order number. And here we have additional comments uh, that you can fill in if you have uh, further uh, guidance for us. And then lastly, this question here, um, for first time users often people will, will ask for a quote that they can see our pricing before they go further with the project. If you've worked with us a number of times, you can also select um, that you agree with the terms and conditions just so that we can start working on your project right away. And thanks for your business.